Hey, what is up, buddy, and welcome back to Dial of 20. This is episode 7. This time I got it. I'm all here by myself because Tough Thing is actually. It might actually be on the road down to where I am right about now, but. Today we are going to solve a little bit of a problem. Last episode we set up the Ender Quarry and the Twilight Forest, and now. Well, I've had to come down here and empty this out. I've actually cleared this entire chest out once already. So, yeah, it definitely gets all the materials we need. You can see we have a ton of iron, so I don't think we're going to be running out of that anytime soon. But we need to take care of uh, what we're going to do with all the cobblestone, because it picks up a lot of cobblestone. Also sticks. I guess that's from the roots. That's in Twilight. But we need to uh, sort out the cobblestone. Pretty much I'm going to plan on just getting rid of that, just voiding that, and then I want to set up auto-processing for all of our wonderful ores that we have here, so that is what we are going to be setting up this episode. Now I did uh, make a bunch of the materials, I hopefully made enough, because I plan on doing three pulverizers and three powered furnaces, so let's see, and I want to try and get them... Um, I might get them to, uh, what's it called, Re resonant level, so, let's see, 10, iron, okay, I need to grab more tin, we got plenty of iron, you can see we already got stacks on stacks of iron here, and then we've got four or five more stacks of the iron ore, which would of course be doubled, which is more like eight stacks, so, we're not going to be running out of iron any time soon, so let's see, I need to make six of everything. So not the resonant, the basic one. There it is. Ah, I know this recipe. That's silver. Yeah, it is. Okay, I need to grab more ten. Hmm. <laughs> See. Two more six, yeah. That's the correct number. Then we can go ahead and make the basic, six of the basics, and then. I'll just turn all these into the hardened ones since we can. Oh, oh, that's not the hardened one. Let's see, it was that with no the gears, the from gears. And then that, and then that. There we go, so now we got the hardened ones, and we need, uh, what turns off that? The reinforced, which is Signalium, which is actually really interesting to get, and I don't think we have enough. Right, how do you make some signalium again? Redstone, silver, and copper. So I need need a bunch of copper, and that should be enough. So let's see, copper, oh, alloy mode, copper, redstone, and three pieces of silver. Well, one thing I am certainly excited about, which is actually coming out, um, or actually when this episode airs, it would actually have been out for a few hours, actually. It's the GT5 PC release, which me and Tough Thing both plan on playing a lot, and I plan on certainly playing a lot. So I'm going to hopefully get both of this week's episodes completed, um, perhaps today, perhaps today and tomorrow, and then getting, then essentially playing GTA 5 um, for the rest of the week, essentially, since for me it comes out on Monday at 7 p.m., which would actually, when this episode airs, it would actually be yesterday, which is kind of weird to think about. Phew. That's actually really weird, I didn't... Huh. 
I'm recording this the day before something comes before the game comes out. But you guys won't be seeing it until the day after. And by that time I will definitely be playing it by now. So Woohoo, GT5 release. So yeah, so I can't exactly comment on anything because I don't exactly have the game yet. But um Hopefully Tough Thing's gonna be back next weekend and we will be playing that essentially next week. I'm not going to like just stop the Die Wolf 20 series. I want to keep that going, but uh, pretty much every other waking hour will be the GT5, most certainly. Uh, the only thing I hope about is the. I hope the release goes smoothly and it doesn't. Um, like, they make sure to beef up their. Um, service servers so they don't um, crash essentially like they did when the um, 360 well actually I think it yeah they had trouble with both the next gen and past gen consoles when they released the online so I don't know we're just gonna have to find out I guess oh shoot I didn't make enough endurium god darn it mmm Hmm. Let's see. Shiny silver and ten. Got silver and ten. Let's do five. Is that right? Eight in there. Yeah, this should be fine. So shiny silver and ten. Oh good, that doesn't take very long. That's good. So let's see. I think we need the pyrothium and the pearls. I think. Oh, I have a bunch more endearing base. Darn it, god darn it. Oh well, that's fine. Let's see, um... There. Completely have lost my train of thought. And then part with them. There we go. So yeah, so I plan on, of course, keeping this series up and going. Um for you know the next couple weeks that I'm going to definitely be pretty much playing the living heck out of GTA 5 but I certainly hope that you guys will enjoy um, all the stupid things we do in GTA 5 because me and uh, Tough Thing played it on um, Xbox 360 and then the next gen stuff came out and he wanted to get Destiny and so he got Destiny in the PS4 and I um, built a computer actually I Helped him build his computer, and then I built my computer. So, and I've kind of just... I didn't exactly, like, renew my Xbox um, Gold membership, because I was like, why should I? Just for GTA 5? And, because I, I think it ran out, like, December. So I haven't been playing GTA 5 since Heist came out. So pretty much everything since... Pretty much everything in 2015 that they've... That Rockstar has changed the game. I haven't actually gotten to play with, so like all the armored cars, everything like that, and then there's of course going to be all the PC exclusive stuff that's going to, the I'm are going to have a lot of fun with, like, you can, um, there's a whole like director mode, so you can change the, um, like change cameras, what I would love to see is if you could like, um, show the view of like a pedestrian walking by, like in first person, Think that would be really cool because I personally love the cars in the game and I love modifying cars and just racing and driving the living heck out of all the cars and that's personally what I enjoy now tough thing I believe just enjoy shooting a bunch of stuff including me and the cops and Meriwether pretty much anything that he sees which actually reminds me of killing stuff there's um I'm, I'm really hoping for online they're going to be able to do this because they weren't able to um, at least I don't think they did this for next gen uh, I th well I think they did in, the, in, the, in its initial release but then they took it out later on because it was causing um, some issues so I hope that they'll be able to do it with the PC since hopefully it, people are running it with beefier hardware than the consoles of course and um oh, uh oh lag Oh, oh, there it is. Give it 
There we go. And that is the wildlife. Like, there are like cougars, there are like mountain lions and cougars. There's like deer. So one thing I would love to do is go hunting. As strange as it may sound, it actually sounds really, really enjoyable to me. And I don't know why. Or do I need to make more gears? I need to make more gears, don't I? Darn it. Uh, what are we missing? What are we missing? Why did it stop? Do we need... Does it take more than one interpol for each one? Oh. Okay, I did not know that. Um... Are we gonna have enough interpearls? I'm not sure. Hmm. But anyway, so... I would love to go, um hunting at some point. I really hope that they have the wildlife online so you can, you know, go hunting with your friends. You can make, like, a little competition out of it if you, of who can, like... I'm not sure if they're, like, different size, but, like, who can find a deer first in the woods or something like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. And I'm sure, I'm sure if, like, Rockstar doesn't add it, I'm sure the modding community probably will. Which I really, really hope that, um... Uh, Rockstar is going to allow the mining community to kind of do what they do without, um, without really, like, um, I guess interfering. Because I do understand them wanting to have, like, the whole, like, realistic economy and that kind of stuff, but then there are just other times where you kind of just want to have fun, just add in. Because, like, this, you know, all this stuff is, like, mod stuff, and it's, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And it's, you know, a, it's a lot of fun. It adds a lot more kind of things to do in the game that you wouldn't necessarily um, be able to. So, so I, I just personally think it um, adds a lot more because I notice I tend to get bored playing the... Um, just regular vanilla I tend to just somehow get bored one way or another and then there are other people who you know can play it forever and play it constantly like a lot of the minecraft community still plays vanilla minecraft a lot and um, and then there are other other minecraft people who like playing the modded stuff more so you know it, it all kind of depends so but one thing I do know is the Mods, to my knowledge, are not going to be allowed online. However, in single player, they should be allowed. What I would like to see is perhaps um, Rockstar um, giving uh, the ability to make your own server, but have it not give you like money and XP, and you can mod it. So it would be kind of a unranked server, I guess. So you'd be able to, you know, have I don't know Spider-Man mod, and you can cling from building to building or something like that or like a war mod because there's actually one there's um uh, I think it's Los Santos Life which is similarly based off of Armor 3's Altus Life which is a pr pretty much a role playing game where you essentially make money and you can buy stuff and it's lots of fun it's kind of GTA Online but just much more um, immersive and then there's then there's also people who can play as the police instead of just having to go against AI, which makes it a lot more challenging. So, which I'm not actually sure if I've shown any role-playing footage for Altus Life. Whoops, I need to make last gear here. And. There we go, okay. Let's see, I need some wood. Cobblestone. More redstone. We got a ton of redstone now, which is awesome. I love that. I tend to always... No. Shift. Nope, darn it. Wrong recipe. Piston. Shift. One, two, three. 
because we're doing three pulverizers and three um, powered furnaces. There's no particular reason why I chose three, just that is a um, nice number. We don't have flint. Drat. Um, let's hope that the quarry has found some gravel. We, okay, we have a little bit of flint here. And that is actually full, so I'm going to need to hurry up here. It's a pulverizer. Just need two pieces. There we go. Oh, dropping stuff. Dropping important things. Let's see, then we also need some coal. And I think... Oh, we need to make the copper gears, that's right. So, I think we need six of these, so I'm going to make all these. I don't think the powered furnace takes uh, a different block. Nope, nope, okay, don't drop that. Okay. Very, very cluttery. Very cluttery. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the um, whole thing we've been talking about this entire episode. The GTA 5. Pretty much mainly, of course, the GT Online, but just having it in general. Do I have copper? Yeah, I do. Okay. Dog's not happy at someone. So I need six of those, and I think. There we go. Three resonant pulverizers. Perfect. I need the powered furnace. Or maybe it's called something else. Furnace. Redstone Furnace. Okay, so yeah, so that name changed. I need... Ah, oh, I needed those too for this one. Okay. That's fine, we got enough materials. And then... There we go. Ah, oh, sweet. So now it's going to be a matter of figuring out exactly how we're going to hook this all up. Um, since we've got this here, I'm thinking... I guess we could... I guess the best plan is to just have it laying down, I guess? Sorry, where's my pouch? Even though the chest is right over there, this is how lazy I am. Okay. I need, I'm going to orientate them. Screw it. Pick it up. Oh, they apparently changed my data. Okay. Hopefully that's not going to cause any issues. Oops. There we go. Doot, doot, doot. And doot. Okay. So now... Um... <laughs> I guess we need to wire them with... This, so they'll automatically pass. I can set them up to automatically pass to each other. Where should I put the power? I should put it under or over? I guess it doesn't really exactly matter, so we'll just put it below. We'll just turn the bat mode so we don't have to break more blocks than we need to. Figure all these to output that to the right. And I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, because I'm not sure I'm not sure if they'll have extra stuff that will um be like cause a problem with powered furnaces of all the stuff that we're doing. I don't think so, so I think I should actually set these to the kind of orange color, or is it the red or the yellow, since it's a mixture of both. Okay, so that should be good. So they'll put them in here. These should all be accepting from that side. 
then I guess I'll just have them all except from this side and where's my conduits? There we go. I'm conduits. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting because I need to set up. Yeah, I know they're doing valid inputs. Would you mind letting me open you? So we need to do extract. So I need to get one of those. Let's see, I'm not sure what they're called. Don't know when I see it. Basic item filter. We may need the advanced one, but I'm going to try not to. So let's see, hopper and paper. Good thing we got that little sugar cane farm running now, because now we got a decent amount of paper. This is not going to be enough, is it? No. One more piece. Then I need to make a chest, which I think I have. Did I run out of chest already? Interesting. Alright. Go ahead and make a new chest. And grab some more iron so just actually start throwing stuff back in here. Since hopefully we're not going to need to use all of it. Since hopefully all of our crafting is done for the most part. So let's see. Hopper. Yoink. And yoink. And I'm hoping the basic item filter is going to be enough, but we'll have to see. Come on. Nope. Basic item filter. So whitelist. Whitelist means it will pull those out. So I'd make sure it can pull out uh, iron ore. Yoink. Just make sure to get clear this out so it can keep running. this to be insert, and this one to be insert, and this one to be insert, right? It should be working. Oh wait, that's right, it needs a redstone signal. Okay, so that's fine, I'll just I'll set up the output, which um, we'll just set up over here. It's orange. Oh, one lag. Okay, a lot of lag. There we go. Okay. Then we'll set all of these up like that. We'll make sure that they don't require redstone signals because we just want these to pull out all the time. Right? Without signal, it's fine. Without. And without. So it should just pull everything out, and then we'll need, I guess, another chest have everything be thrown into. Make it iron, and then I think I have iron to gold crap. Oh man, I'm stupid. Okay. Let's do that again. Let's not have it in our hands when we click on chests. Okay, then I've got iron to gold. Perfect. So this will hold all of the processed ores. Let's make sure this is insert, right? Insert those all extracting. Okay. Let's do this with that. Check gold chest. Now, um, I guess that is everything that we need. I gotta set up, I gotta set all these in. So let's do gold, silver, lead, uh, aluminum, copper, set 10, uh, I guess yellowite, uranium, ferrous, there I get silver, okay, I got silver. And that should be, I mean, I don't think this is enough, so we'll have to see which ones we can do. So gold, silver, 
lead, oh dear. Um, and I guess we'll do ten, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to um, set the rest of those up to auto process. Come on. There we go. So, act for that signal. Should throw stuff in here. So it's going to slowly. So, yeah, so it's not very fast. There are speed upgrades, though. Do we have any extra electrical steel? Or do I have to make some? Let's see. Electrical steel, perfect, perfect, okay. I'm gonna try and wrap this up real quick. Let's see, we got that, 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 that. Piston. I need a stick. You know what, I'll take one of the stupid sticks that's down here that we keep mining apparently. Stick. Should be everything perfect. So this should speed up um, the extraction of everything. Which it doesn't seem to have any huge problem with, but okay, so that's all working. Awesome. So we have got um, pretty much an automatic or processing center, I guess. Not bad. Not bad at all, I must say. Um, do you have to figure out what we're gonna do? Because I've left out copper, yellowite, and uranium, ferrous, and aluminum. I'm not sure if whether. What? We've got the materials to do this. Solarium, soul, sand, and gold, which we should have enough of. Solarium? Yes, we do. So can that's, that's that's easy. Come on, give me something challenging. I'm just kidding. Please, dear God, don't. This is already crazy enough for me. Perfect. Silicon. Let's see, it was the slice and splice. So silicon. There. Solarium. Silicon. So the Z laundry. So redstone. Then we can take one of these stupid zombie heads off the off the wall. Did you notice I have a cleaver now, which now has looting three, and uh, I can pretty much kill a um, enderman in about three hits, and just about everything else in about one, one and a half. So, are there still stupid zombies in here? I'm seeing them on the map. I get the ground. I see there's one in here. Nope. Okay. Let's see if this fixes our problem. If not, I'll just set up another um, uh, output. Speed. There we go. Just a little boost. I'll make a, another one of these octate capacitors. So let's see if Z-Logic and paper and redstone, which we don't have enough paper again. Okay, so advanced item filter. So hopefully this has more slots. I hope so. One, open. Open says me. Awesome. Okay, so um, yeah, this is actually perfect because it has or dictionary in it. So yeah, so I'm going to, um, between this and next, set this all up with all the ores, but, fortunately, we have reached that wrapping up point. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been your boy, Superman here, from the Master Gamers. Same peace out, everybody. Peace.